All right, so yeah, uh, we're doing Creature Fader again. We're doing part two. I'm showing. Oh, okay. You okay. All right. I think it's coming. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. So this we started off with monkey because. That's that's yes. mine. And I'm gonna scroll down looking for all my creations. This is one's gonna be much much shorter than last time. I made this one earlier today. Oops. Actually, I moved that. Let me just. No. Let me reload that. Let me reload that. This is the tree crocodile. This what's it called again? Yeah, tree, yeah, tree, tree crocodile. Long-legged tree crocodile. Anyway, it's it's cool. It uh, it's it jumps very well. It can dance. Oh yeah, it can dance. Who is? Um yeah. Is this um, a territorial dance? Yeah, that's yeah. It's showing off. Ter no, that's that's its mating dance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the the female will go to with one of them. I don't know how to decide that. And this is like signaling they want to fight, and then they'll pounce on each other. And have a battle. Yeah. Uh, it has night vision. Um. Mm. Yeah. So they they hang out in like rainforests. For people who are like green colorblind, that must look so weird. I bet it does. It's no offense to that. No offense. No, no to those offense. People. If you're colorblind, then uh, if if you are okay. colorblind to green, tell us what the green stuff looks like. Tell us what, gr what color. What does grass look like? Actually, um, Avery has a friend who's apparently can't see. Uh, gr is green, and I think it was red colorblind, and he said grass was blue. That looks. Mm -hmm. That sounds weird. Okay, so they have a bunch of leaf-shaped stuff on there, and I used these, this stuff here as osteoderms. You know, as crocodiles have on their back, that's what those little things are called. It has Science. a big crocodile-like mouth. It's quite a good fighter. Obviously, high at, good at jumping. Decent swimmer. Just bounces. Right it. And... Oh. Yeah, I like it. They're good at hunting seagulls. They're these guys' favorite food. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. We're gonna right. do some Savage Planet videos after this. Right. And then. Oh, the, the Destroyer! 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 From our most popular series on the entire channel, the, the Thordak voiceover. So I should do another one. Um, so there's a glitch. Mm -hmm. This is the front of his body, and this is his tail. So he's moving like tail first, and it's, it's weird. I'm not gonna show off dances, because that just looks weird. You only do one dance. Yeah. Well, you could do. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a new thing. That's, that's. <laughs> I know, it's so weird. I don't like it. <laughs> this is his strongest form. Of course, there's his baby. <laughs> He's yeah. so, so yeah. wiggly. Yeah, of course, there's his uh, regular baby corn snake form, in which case, which you guys have seen. And then there's my other one that I drew. And there's this form. And this form. Oh, he, yeah, got he, 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 just, fire. he got teleported to Creature Creator. Yeah. And I don't think he likes being Creature Creator. Uh. <laughs> he bites, I guess. And he has Stumpy. horns. He has horns, I guess. Stumpy. Um. And he can fly decently. He has both dragon wings and I think a pair of dragonfly wings. Let's see what we find next. Uh. Yeah, I haven't made that many things here. Yeah, so, so it's just any shorter. bear with me. Pikmin. I'm just scrolling down until I find something. Got to show Noodle God. Do you want me to just quickly show that off? Yeah, this is something I made. I know yeah. something I made in Xavi's <laughs> video. Yeah, you have to show <gasps> it off. Gotta zoom out <laughs> to really show. Him. It's Noodle God, the God of Noodles and all things noodly. Yes. Beautiful. Moving on? I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, Kelt, where's Kilt Bob? Kuko Sean. Kuko Sean. If you guys have been a long time fan, you should know who Kuko Sean is. They did a, he was our first Who Was This Guy video. Remember the god of lightning. the serpent of the seven storms. Uh, sh sh spikes for lightning and he can dance. Much better than Thordak. That's rude. 
Yeah, anyway, it's... it's I, I, I really like how he turned out. And he could fly decent, I guess. Um, I don't know. From, he had, you know, he has a bunch of feathers on his face. Except one thing I did wrong is he does not have that eye. How did he get it? How did he lose it again? Right, Jesus took it. Right. In the lore, Jesus is actually the guy who killed Kuko Sean, and then I brought him back recently. Yeah. So if you're Christian, then. Don't say anything. Kiwi, sorry, then Jesus. You know, say, this is a kelp blob. If you say something about that, we're gonna have an outrage in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he is a kelp blob. Yeah. yeah, there are these things that live in the ocean empire, created by the kelp dragon, to just eat. They can dance. And I don't know, it looks weird while doing so, so I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. It's covered with tails, and t tentacle beards, and other stuff. Uh, I don't know, I really put tail, what the tails look like during this dance. I really like that animation. And you can jump, no you can't jump. You can bite, I guess. You can swim. There's also axolotl. Yeah, I did make an axolotl. All right. And... Okay. Um, what's next? Swamp. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I haven't made that many things. Let me just... Eh, well, yours is like almost 20 minutes, so. This is Bogdor, the weird salamander thingy. Do you guys know Trogdor, the Burninator? I kind of based him off of it. I kind of based this guy off of that. And he swims and poops look spikes. At, he has to look at his face. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. He has a shell, I guess. Spin. And bite. Can jump, can Copyright fart. Copyright claim. I don't know why I said copyright claim. And I guess he can swim. swim. Yeah. Swim. Weird sound thing. I'm not entirely sure what I was trying to do. I don't know. Anyway, he's he's me. I guess. Oh yeah, and uh. On our last video, can can you guys just, after you're done watching this video, can you go to our last video and comment what your favorite fi uh, creature from that video was? Then after, then no. uh, after watching this video, can you comment favorite creature from this one? Axolotl. All right. Axolotl. It's uh, something. I don't know. I tried. <laughs> it jumps unrealistically well. So bite at level one is pretty realistic. Sprint Jump level is... three. And sprint level three. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> absolutely. Bite level one makes sense, I guess. But it's it's alright. Like how you like how you just like bounce in water. It's silly. Yeah. It's silly like a billy. How does it how well does it swim? It swims decently well. Yeah, it's alright, I guess. It's not the best. Not the most accurate. And is, is that it? I'm I'm just gonna scroll through everything. Remind myself of what else I Okay, I guess that's it. Later. Okay. Um in it uh later, maybe maybe a few minutes or something. I don't know. Later I'm going to create Venom Agoon. Um, you know, Venom, the our our old King Snake. Yeah, I think I should make a bunch of my characters like. Well, yeah. I can't. I, I'm, I'm not gonna make myself. No. Uh, so so I turned IRL. I turned him into an eldritch god with my DM powers, and now he's he's actually stronger than me, because he's because he he trains. He's a training. He's a he's like he's like a Vegeta with training. He's like addicted. So I'm gonna make him in this. 
course, he's not going to be as strong. He's not going to have quite magical power, but that's what is. He's not going to be quite as powerful, Maybe but it's, that's, that'd be very difficult as... Well, I don't think it's possible to create something here that can wrap around Earth and bite the end of their tail. Mm. So, no. Well, you don't have to make it scale to size. That's a good point. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do that in a little bit. Um, uh, yeah. Bye, like, subscribe. Mm. Bye.